Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Extensions Lab. In this lab, we will look at the access path. So our objective is to familiarize with the access path, how, how to access elements and each and the access paths. Let's review the XML. This XML has, a, well, has multiple root elements and an element and multiple elements called year, price, country. So let's say if we want to access the element year, we have to use the fully qualified path, which is the catalog, which is the root element, another root element, CD, year. You can either you can either use the fully qualified uh, uh, access path, or you can use the notation. The single period represents the current node. Double period returns returns the parent of the current node. Slash slash would search in any node. We would primarily use this within the for loops. Let's look at a for, e for each loop. So in this case, I'm going to look at the for each CD. So if I want to access the catalog name, which is the uh, which is the which is the top level, I could simply say slash slash catalog name. So I would get even though I am at the CD level, I would still be able to access the catalog name. Because I'm searching for uh, anything. So let's say if you want to access the artist name, uh, I am right now I'm at the CD level, so I have to go one parent up. So I would say dot dot slash at artist, which is the one parent up. Let's uh, let's let's uh, do some examples of this, and we'll come back to the complex example. So we're gonna, we're going to look at this. We are going to use this XML file. It has a catalog, which is a root element. CD is another root element. And there is an artist at, at the catalog level. And there is an artist at the uh, child level, or the uh, second child root element. So I'm going to do the data load for, the, for this. And uh, I, have a C, I have a for each for CD. And I'm going to get the artist name. And I'm, if I'm going to get, the, so this artist would point to the, this artist would point to the artist in the CD. And the immediate parent would point to the artist in the parent, which is going to be this. And artist name of any parent, which would be this. Let's also look at certain things. Let's, let's, let's try to see what, what, what what value we get when uh, we do cd slash country what happens when we do a cd what happens if we do a slash catalog let's ex examine while we uh, run this example i think i'm going to do a preview html if you notice that you can see the first element is a bob dylan a second artist but the immediate parent and any parent gives the if you give the if you take a look at this if you can see uh, immediate parent and artist name parent or this name parent and if you look at the name navigate to country so you get get the USA when I said slash catalog slash CD it's going to give me a dump of all all of these the same way for the catalog if I want to specify an artist it's going to do the same thing or a, a category type let's look at another in this example we are going to use the uh, advanced xml file let's take a look at that it has a pretty much similar structure but it has a, a sub root element called g artist then it has a, another root element so cd so in this example i am going to uh, look at the loop for cd and I am going to get the artist name. The artist name, remember, the artist name is at the parent level G artist. So let's try to compare this example. So the uh, here we can see that I'm in the for CD loop, but the artist is at the G artist level. So I won't be able to get I won't be able to get the correct artist here. Here I'm going to go from the parent. I'm going to get the artist, but it's outside the loop. So this would result in the bad. We will get the artist name, but we'll, 
result in the bad artist name. Here's the correct way of getting it. So I'm in the child loop CD. I want to go one parent up and I want to get the artist. That's what we are doing here. Let's try to run this. If you notice here that um, the, the first time for the for the uh, wrong artist, we didn't get we didn't get any value. And the second one where we are accessing it directly with the full path, we are getting the wrong artist name, and it should be Bonnie Taylor. The correct way of representing it by going to the immediate parent and get the value. So this is very useful, especially uh, when you create reports where we are in the child 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 pet, child route and we want to go up to the parent to get the value. Uh, let's look at some other examples similar to this. So in this example, we are going to do a couple of things. First thing we are going to do is we are going to use the uh, the filter function of the XML. So we have uh, we are looping through the uh, G artist and we are displaying the artist name. And for the CD, we are going to apply a filter called price, which is the price element. And if the price is greater than 10, only we'll display it. And in the uh, second uh, example, we are going to loop through the artist name. Well, actually, we're going to look through the CD. And then we are going to get the second element in the CD. Uh, let's try these two examples. So I'm going to look at add preview XML. So in the first case where the price is greater than 10, we see that we are displaying the artist name and uh, we're displaying the title and the price is greater than 10. And we're going to get the second array. So for each CD, so the so, so in this case, you know, remember we have we have uh, two groups of arrays. We have a G artist, which occurs twice, and within that is a CD. So let me say specify the CD, and there's no outer loop for G artist. So it's going to loop twice. So in this first example, we're going to it's going to bring in the second CD, which is uh, the times that are changing. Let's look at that. And it's going to loop through the G artist one more time, and it's going to get the second secondary, which is the hit of bony tail. The bony tail. So that's that's how we can filter. We maybe we can use multiple different kinds of filter there. We can use the title like um, you know the, the, there are different ways we can filter the record. Uh, we will we'll get into those things uh, later. But but with with the with this. Uh, with this technique, you can filter a record. Um, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a simple access way to uh, simple way to access the uh, the data element by filtering. So let's look at a more complex uh, XML. In this XML, we have uh, multiple roots, and we have a parent called G header, uh, which you know which has the organization name, and we have job name, we have resources, which is the child. So if we so let's try to see how we can access the um, how we can access the parent and child uh, based on what we learned. So so if we are in a for each uh, resources uh, uh, path, we are in a for each resources loop. For each resources is a, is the is the innermost loop, innermost uh, L, uh, root element. Let's try to access the organization name. We can basically search for uh, any root that has an organization name. So how about operation description? This is an immediate parent. So operation description is uh, one. We can see it's a parent above and a parent. So let's see how to access it. We can say one, two parents. If the list resources is one, and G operations is the next parent, which is an op 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 description is under that uh, uh, that element, that root element. How about we look at the job? So the list job. So we are at the G resources. So we need to go up one parent. 
another parent, another parent, another parent, and the child. So we have to go four, four. Let's look at this. The job is here. We're gonna go one parent up, another parent up, another parent up, and we're there. Let's look at a live example. So in this example, we are going to use the uh, access path sample. And uh, we are going to have a loop for uh, resources. So the resources, if you look at the resources, uh, resources, uh, resources is the is the innermost, the innermost, uh, is the innermost layer. And we're looking for organization name, so we're going to blindly search for it. And the operation description is two parents up. This is a bad way of getting it. And we are going to get the uh, job, which is four parents up. And the rest of the stuff uh, remains the same. Let's try to run this way. We already said we get the, the organization name, which is the Chicago Inventory. We have the operation description, which is Which is two parents up. Operation, operation description. Then we are going to get the job. So it's here is open description. Sorry, the open description is here. The job is here. So we're going to get the job, which is two or nine. And the bad one is. Uh, obviously it won't find it and the uh, rest of the stuff uh, is pretty straightforward so it, it, it's it's uh, it's it's very the access path is very really useful especially when you build reports where you have multiple routes uh, or multiple multiple you know you have your multiple routes and you are in you are in the most route and you want to access the value of the parent immediately above it or a few layers above it uh, it's pretty useful when you um, Especially uh, when you're building uh, complex, complex report, um, especially with the AP or uh, AP checks or uh, you know remittance notices and everything. So uh, this is the for the final review, uh, we we reviewed how to access the um, how, how to access the uh, access the XML path to navigate to the right uh, the right uh, element. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll see you.